In this video, we will discuss the benefits of using OE quality parts. When we're replacing a wheel bearing, the best option is to use OE quality equipment. And here are a few reasons why. In front of me, we have three bearings, two of which are aftermarket bearings, and one is an OE bearing. Although they may all look very similar on the outside, it does not indicate how they would perform on the vehicle. To evaluate how they might perform on a vehicle, each bearing had undergone 0.8G overturning moment testing. The OE manufacturer specs out that the 0.8G test must survive for an L10 criteria of 30 hours. Our first aftermarket bearing had only achieved an L10 of about six and a half hours. The second aftermarket bearing had only achieved an L10 of approximately 9.5 hours. Whereas the OE bearing had achieved an L10 life of a little over 61 hours. That is more than double the criteria for this bearing. Once testing has completed, we have to take apart the bearings to determine what type of internal failures the bearings had experienced. For our first bearing that had an L10 of 6.5 hours, once we disassemble the part, we can see that there was intense raceway flaking damage. Our second aftermarket bearing, which had an L10 of approximately 9.5 hours, had a different type of failure. For this bearing, after disassembly, we actually noticed that it had both ball and cage failures. As for the OE sample, its test was suspended due to the fact that it had far exceeded the OE manufacturing's testing criteria. Upon inspection of this bearing, we see that there was no damage found to any of the raceways, balls, or cages. Based on the bench testing and internal inspection results shown in this video, you can see why it is important to replace wheel bearings with OE quality parts. For other installation tips, training videos, and frequently asked questions, visit the BCAHub.com.